Hey guys, Technomentary here with a video for you guys on top 10 settings that you should turn off whenever you upgrade to iOS 13.4 or any iOS for that matter of fact. So whenever Apple upgrades to a new iOS and you upgrade to that iOS, it likes to go ahead and turn a lot of the settings that were previously turned off on and all these settings are you know very draining on the battery and can drain up your battery really quickly and you might see a reduced battery you know life and we're going to go ahead and show you guys what those settings are so if you turn off these settings we even seen cases where these settings can also save you up to you know five six hours of battery and keep your battery running longer on the charge so battery as you know is very important nowadays whenever you know running low battery and you want to preserve your battery life um, before we get started if you guys are new to our channel we make a lot of tech review videos and tips and tricks and also do giveaways on a lot of different products so check out our other video and make sure you hit that like button so you guys can see new giveaways that we announced so let's get in and get started the first thing we want to do is go into settings once in your settings you want to go to uh, go down to general once in general you'll see the first thing is the background app refresh so the background app refresh if you know as you can see I had it turned on before but it went in and turned it back on so this is infamous for consuming up your battery life because what it does is it allows apps to refresh their content when on Wi-Fi or cellular in the background, turning up, and the Apple even says it in the description, turning off may help preserve battery life. So all these apps that you're seeing are constantly running in the background, even though they're closed to refresh their content or their data. But we don't want that because whenever you open these apps, they'll actually you know do that refresh itself. So go ahead and turn that off by clicking over here and then click off as you can see right now it would actually consume data as well on if we're not connected to wi-fi and it's running so we'll go ahead and completely turn that off so let's go on to the next tip for you guys so we will go back to settings again so once you're in settings we're going to go into siri and search so we're going to go find that right here as you can see siri and search and as you can see we have listen for hey siri so whenever you have this Listen for Hey Siri, well, although it is great if you use Siri a lot, it might not be really beneficial if you, to have it on because what it does is it allows Siri to constantly keep the mic on on your phone. So that requires battery as well to constantly run in the background. So if you're not taking advantage of Hey Siri or don't really have a use for it, I would go ahead and turn that off and help you kind of save your battery. Let's move on to the next tip and trips for you guys. So the next couple ones are gonna be in privacy. So privacy is a key area that for some reason, Apple goes in and turns it on whenever you upgrade. So if we go into settings and then privacy, we'll notice kind of one of the big um, things on privacy is motion and fitness. So motion and fitness, this app usually, what it does is whenever it's turned on, I have it turned off here, but it usually, whenever you upgrade, it is turned on. Go check that out. What it does is allows, you know, access for apps to access the sensor data, including body motion, step count, stairs climb, and much more data around fitness and your movement that, you know, allows apps to utilize if they need it. But you don't really need, you know, apps to actually collect those data and constantly turning on and utilizing your phone's sensor because that those sensors that are turned on are actually you know taking up charges unnecessarily and consuming up your battery well you might not actually need it unless you really need it if you really need it you'll know that you need to have this on but usually i turn this off by default most people don't really need this on so go ahead and turn that off so make sure you turn that off let's move on to the next um, tip for you guys also in privacy here in privacy if you go into location services you'll notice in location services there's a there's a component called system services down here in system services or services that the iPhone has on by default but you may not actually be using it because you have no use for it as you can see there's a bunch of settings that are using location services so when location services is running it's actually utilizing your gps on the phone which you know 
again, you know, takes, you know, battery charge to run. So as you can see, there's a lot of these system services that are unnecessary. For example, Apple Pay, you may not really need that. Um, cellular network uh, search, you may need. So there's about three or four of them that you'll need that I'll, un, you know, uncheck the other ones and you can see which ones you need. So cellular network is usually one I like to keep on, emergency calls, and then find my iPhone. And then lastly, around, um, this one share my location so this is if you share your location with your family and friends whenever you you know um, on a message you can you send them your location and then if you travel a lot you might want to keep um, setting time zone because it automatically picks up time zone so I'll go ahead and turn every other setting up because I don't really need it and those are not really needed as well so we're gonna go ahead and turn these off and keep about you know even this one, I don't travel a lot, so set up, uh, turn off setting time zone. So these four might be the only crucial ones, but all the other ones don't really need location services. Finally, next tip for you guys is this one right in um, significant location. So significant location, if you remember in the previous generation of the iOS, used to be frequently, um, frequent, frequent location, which is allows Apple oh, to track your location that you most, visit so this one as you can see here i have one location that um since i've been to since i had this phone but we want to go ahead and turn that off because we don't want apple to collect that data and constantly you know looking at wherever you know places we're going so turn that off as well so let's move on to the next tip for you guys it's in also in privacy as well so when we go back to privacy um in settings we're going to go ahead and go to analytics and improvement so what this is it allows apple to improve its product by you know automatically sending daily diagnostic and data usage of your phone back to them you know i don't really like to do that because why do i need my you know iphone to send that data to apple they have better ways to you know improve the product and you know just being a little naive but you know that, that is taking up my battery um, charge for you know reason that I don't really need it so I'll go ahead and turn that off as well so you know that will kind of save some battery for me let's move on to the next tip for you guys is actually in privacy as well so these two go hand in hand so mic and camera they will you know mic for example a lot of apps will require you know mic that because you need it like if you're doing video conferencing or making videos but other apps might need it but you're not actually using the mic at all because you know why have it on for example the only you know there's three of application currently that are using the mic but the only two that i need is tiktok and zoom so i'll go turn off youtube because i'm not actually recording videos so initially when i download an app i enabled it on but i don't really have a use for it on this phone so i'll go ahead and turn that off you'll see in your phone if you have a lot of apps a lot of apps whenever you download it will automatically you know ask you to you know give it mic access and you might just be click happy and just click on allow so you want to go and you know uh you know turn those off as well let's go on to the next one which is goes hand to hand with mic is the camera again whenever you download a new application it will ask you for camera access because by default you know apps develop will usually make sure that they have access to those in case they need it for the future or you know the way they program it might be you know misprogram and incorrectly enabling those services so i'll closely look at the list and say okay what do i really actually need the mic for well i might need the mic for TikTok and Zoom and other apps, the shopping one for eBay and Mercury or even YouTube, I may not need because I'm not making YouTube videos on this phone. So I'll go ahead and turn those off and not give those camera access. So these two are tips go hand in hand, kind of saving battery for you guys. Let's move on to the next one, which is, you know, very subtle. So this one goes in, if you go into settings and go to sound and Let's find sound and haptics. So sound and haptics, um, if you guys aren't familiar with this, like little tiny vibration that apps, phone services that use to kind of um, notify you. But you may not want to turn that on because haptic, you know, allows, you know, system controls and interaction to happen through the vibration sensor. We're going to go ahead and turn that off because by playing those little vibrations and uh, movement is actually 
you know, a heavy hitter on the battery chart. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Finally, the last settings that we wanna go ahead and look at is actually in settings and then password and account. So here, if you have a lot of email enabled, this is where you'll see those email kind of pop up. So what we wanna do is go ahead and review this and click on fetch new data. For fetch new data, there's up oh, two options. One is push and then, then the other one is fetch. Push is this push is sending new data from your iPhone to the you know mail servers, but we might not want to do that because you know we're not constantly looking to do that. And the only time you might want to do that is when you actually utilize the mail app. So we'll go ahead and turn that off so it's not constantly you know taking off battery to do that. So the next thing I want to show you guys is this fetch. So fetch is actually pulling your new new mails that constantly come through. So right now it is set to be automatic because you know by default Apple thinks you know you should constantly you know pull the new mail that come through. But if you're not really you know um you know caring about how often your mail comes in you might want to do every 15 or 30 minutes so it's not every second. So that will you know take longer to run but it will allow the you know, phone to save battery. So I usually put that in every 30 minutes. What will also happen is if you open up the mail app, it will automatically fetch and pull anyway. So why have it on if you don't need to? So these are the 10 tips and tricks I want to share you with you guys that Apple usually turns on whenever you upgrade to a new iOS that you might not actually need and this can save you five, six hours of battery life. So go comment below in the description any other settings I miss or settings that you think, you know, take off a lot of battery charge and that aren't really needed and unnecessary. And also make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you guys can see new videos that we're gonna be doing on new giveaways and also really important tips and tricks that will help you guys make the most out of your phones. Thanks for watching guys.